If you want to live longer and not die young, you better get a grip. A new study just got published looking at the relationship between hand grip strength and mortality. This study was looking at adults over age 50 and tracked them for an average of eight and a half years, although the study duration was 12 years, the average follow-up time was about eight and a half. Now they looked at hand grip strength and attempted to associate hand grip strength with the risk of mortality or dying during the period of time that they assessed. Not only did they look at hand grip strength, they also did a body mass corrected hand grip strength. So essentially how strong your hand grip was per kilogram of body mass. And then they also did one that was corrected for BMI. So how strong you are per unit of body mass index. So what do they find? So for absolute hand grip strength, their cutoff for, I guess, determining weakness for men was 35.5 kilograms of hand grip strength, and for women, it was 20 kilograms of hand grip strength. And what they found was that if you were below this cutoff, you had a 45% increased risk of mortality. And then the other two measures were also pretty close to this as well. So for a body mass corrected hand grip strength, if you were below the threshold, it was a 33% increased risk of mortality. And for the BMI corrected hand grip strength, if you were below the threshold, it was a 39% increased risk of mortality. Now they also looked at not really a dose response, but they looked at what was the risk if you just had one of those measurements that was under, two of those measurements that was under, or three of those measurements that were under the cutoff point. So basically, if you had three of those measurements, it's just more likely that you are in fact weak because even when they correct for, say, body mass index or body mass, you still are weak. And what they found was basically a linear association. The more of these measurements that you were under the threshold for, the greater your risk of mortality. So if you had one measurement that you were below the cutoff point for, the overall risk increase was 37%. If you had two markers that you were under the threshold for, it was a 47% increased risk of mortality. And if you were under the threshold on all three, it was a 69% increased risk of mortality. Now this data isn't really surprising. We already have quite a bit of research data out there to show that people with less muscle mass, who suffer from sarcopenia, who have a weakness, that these folks have a greater risk of mortality by quite a bit, especially in older populations. And I don't think there's anything magic about hand grip strength. I don't think there's anything with hand grip strength that specifically reduces the risk of mortality. I think that hand grip strength is just a proxy for overall strength and muscle mass. If you have high hand grip strength, by default, you probably are stronger overall and have more muscle mass overall. Just like doing more steps per day is associated with a reduced risk of mortality, I don't think it's anything magical about the steps. If you did 2,000 steps a day, which is sedentary, but you did three hours of exercise per day, I don't think you're going to have an elevated risk of mortality because steps are simply a surrogate marker for overall activity. In the same way that hand grip strength is just a surrogate for overall strength. So the take home from this study is going to be what we already know. If you want to live longer, if you want to have a better quality of life and you want to have less disease, you need to be resistance training because stronger people are harder to kill and more useful in general. Now, if you aren't sure where to get started with resistance training, you can check out the BioLing Workout Builder for just $12.99 a month. You can get access to all of our evidence-based programming and we even have programs for new beginners intermediates, advanced, and we have it for any equipment availability, including minimalist home gyms all the way up to fully furnished gyms. So make sure you click the link in my bio, check out the BioLing Workout Builder. It is a great tool for building strength and muscle. All right, guys, catch you next time.